Hi, I'm Matt, and welcome to Less Dependent Wisconsin. I went out fishing today, both to get dinner and so I could teach you how to make fish emulsion. I'll explain to you what that is and how to make a container that will hold it and process it correctly. So let's go get started. Simply put, fish emulsion is an organic fertilizer derived from fish byproducts. You can buy it commercially or you can make it yourself. And the method I will be using is a fermentation process. The recipe is very simple. We need fish parts, skin, bones, head, flesh. If you can't go out and catch the fish yourself, you can always try a local market or somebody that processes fish. To start the fermentation process, we'll need dry yeast, sugar, and water. To contain it all, we need a five gallon bucket with a lid. We need an S-shaped airlock, and these are available on home brewing sites. Here's a picture of what those look like. We'll need some silicone, a drill with a one inch bit and then if you want to add a spigot you can also do that so I'll show you what I built and we'll go from there okay so this is what we're gonna be making today it's pretty simple we're gonna drill a hole in the top of the bucket we're gonna add this s tube that allows it to breathe we're gonna silicone it really good and the one I'm going to make today, I'm not going to put a spigot on it, but I did put a spigot on this one. And just so you can see, this is what we're going for. We'll mix this with about two parts water, and then we'll use it to fertilize the plants. It does smell a little, but not nearly as bad as fish one or two days after it's been sitting in the sun. Okay, so the first thing we're going to have to do is drill a hole in the lid big enough to fit this rubber stopper. I've got a one inch drill bit, but I'm probably going to have to cut a little bit out and that'll be okay because we're going to silicone over it. Okay, that was pretty easy. Drilled the hole, made a couple of slits to make it a little bigger so I could get the cork through. And now we are going to just silicone that up real good. So to begin the fermentation process, we've got two and a half cups of sugar, about the same amount of water, and one packet of dry yeast. And we're just gonna mix this all together. The warm water is gonna help activate the yeast. And the sugar is going to feed the yeast. sit for about 10 to 15 minutes and then we'll add it to our fish and water okay so to mix it all together you put equal amounts of fish and water in the bucket I'm not going to show you the guts but you can kind of get the idea so I've got about two gallons in there I'm going to go ahead and add our sugar and yeast Put the lid on and seal it up real good. And then we'll wait 30 days. We will come out and shake it up every once in a while, every three or four days, just to get things stirring. And over time, you won't hear the parts of the fish anymore. It'll all just become liquid. Okay, and then the last step, you just wanna make sure these are about half full of water. And what'll happen is, as the 
fermentation process goes on, it's going to release gas and start to build up in there. And when it's built up enough gas, it's going to release the gas through the air filter and it's just going to be a quick puff. Okay, it will smell kind of bad. So I've got these on the back of my property, uh, but I didn't have any issues with the first one. No problems with critters or nothing because you really can't smell anything until it actually burps. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Quick little lesson on how to make fish emulsion. So focus on being less dependent. We'll see you soon. Have a great day.